Podcast number two. Today is Friday, January 25th. This is Max, and with me here is Charlie. Hello. And Corey. Hey. Back by popular demand. Nice. <laughs> Though we missed last week, we kind of thought it'd be better to just skip a week instead of like try to come up with filler. Even though, <laughs> unlike all the previous weeks, <laughs> actually, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, maybe we, that's our New Year's resolution. Yes, no more filler l- podcast. Exactly. Well, I did filler, suggest you guys could do a podcast that celebrated me and all my glory, but you guys kind of. Mm, yeah, we were busy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So today we're going to talk about hives, and specifically we're going to talk about how hives worked in natural section one. In case you don't know or don't remember, and um, how they're going to work in NS two or I should say how we hope they're going to work or how we are starting to think they're going to work. So in NS1, the aliens spawned around hives and um, basically the idea originally was to, we were going to have the hive actually have the ovipositor, as Max calls it, and drop, lay eggs, right? Correct, Kind of like yeah. from aliens, pretty much a rip off from aliens. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can see that in this original concept. On the bottom, there's the ovipositor. Right, which you all know appendage. and love. And, and the eggs. And the it. eggs. And the eggs made it into the game, and the ovipositor did, obviously, but it never actually matched up, and we never actually had aliens spawn as eggs. They just turned into eggs when they morphed between life forms. And, um, and the so, ovipositor had an animation every time an alien would spawn, though, right? right? So it kind of made an animation like it was laying an egg, even yeah. though no egg would actually... But the egg was nowhere yeah. near the vent or whatever. We had some other ideas for NS1, which we're going to try to get into NS2, and we also have some new ones. <clears throat> As we discussed, I think we discussed it in the other podcast um, that we showed the hive, but it was originally meant to have, um, like, emit uh, steam and glowies. have, like, glowies, like, fl- uh, flying around it. And none of those actually made it in. Yeah. But we're hoping for NS2 to actually get some of that stuff in. And wait, didn't we want that big orange center to glow too? I yeah. feel like that was something that we talked about. Or you had said, like, do some special rendering stuff on it. Yeah. yeah. Bioluminescent. Translucent. So mm-hmm. positive. <laughs> so that's how it worked in NS1. Uh, for NS2, Corey and I talked and... Um, we kind of revisited some of those original ideas. Yeah, so this is the new concept. Obviously, you can see it bears a lot of resemblance to the original, but um, kind of improving on designs both for the gameplay that we've discussed um, for NS2, as well as um, just a general overall aesthetic design to it, trying to give it a little more interest uh, in some areas. I think along the top there, it looks like on the, the back side there's a lot more detail. Yeah, yeah. Some of the, the um, <clears throat> like along the back side there is actually where the over ovipositor, <laughs> <laughs> I can't pronounce that word, but um, that, so it, it still retains that, um, but it's kind of become like a, a vestigial limb. Yeah. Um, it's like no longer in use. So, you know, after years of evolution, um, it's sort of kind of withered up. Um, no longer needed. No longer needed, <clears throat> but it's still there, and uh, the flaps have kind of opened up on the back, which is sort of the new vent flaps for where the um, mist and steam kind of um, right. emit from, which hopefully we can get that into this version of NS. Yep. Um, right, Max? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think that's really cool because like most new players to the game, new players to NS won't know about that, but anyone who played the first one will see that shriveled up thing, and they'll like remember oh like i remember you know how right, that worked right. in ns and our whole idea is that for ns2 is that some time has passed so both sides have evolved a bit so that actually makes sense that's a, a nice allusion to the to the whole idea that the aliens have evolved in the meantime yeah exactly <laughs> so um <clears throat> and you can see the the tentacles on the front have um elongated um and this uh we can actually talk about it in in a few minutes here um there's some particular reasons for that um, uh, you can also see in the image, uh, our, as we so the fondly glowies. refer to them as glowies. It only took six or seven years. <laughs> so of course, it's not in yet. We visualized uh, what those could look like, um, kind of a cross between sort of an insect jellyfish um, type of look. But those would be sort of floating around the hive. They would randomly float down and create the eggs. So basically, these are um, sort of the 
caterpillars that become the butterflies essentially um they would randomly land um so there each hive room would have a bunch of eggs um we're going back to the the egg idea again yep. correct yeah yep we think so this we, is we all think so so a great assault, but um so there'd be you know say 10 15 eggs in a room not all of them actually with an uh, alien that's spawning from them so it kind of leaves it a little up you know the the marines are a little uncertain where the next aliens going to spawn from and then when that egg uh, amount of eggs drops below a certain amount um these floaties would randomly um find a surface find a surface to land on and 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 morph into an egg which would then turn into an alien potential i think it'd just be really cool to to walk into a hive room as a marine i was pretty lukewarm on this glowy idea oh yeah i saw this image oh and the glowies that Corey did were much cooler than i ever imagined based on you talking about glowies right like mist only is going to go so far in transforming a room mist right. infestation and transforming a room from like a man-made marine construction right. into like this otherworldly really want to make it feel like jungle. an alien habitat you know yeah slash jungle bog area right, right exactly like, several ideas also we discussed were um potentially having the hive not hanging from a ceiling um, and that was an option we were exploring uh, a bit um, one of the main reasons being that um, we are potentially going to introduce an alien commander mode into NS2. Actually we already announced that we are. It's yeah, a very popular just, just, oh, oh yeah, but, oh okay I didn't know if you saw that. It's still, you okay. know <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no, whether you're right. if it works you're or right. not, I mean yes, it's, yes, it's yes. you know open to, to be taken out if it That's true. seems like a completely crappy decision on your part. Sure. <laughs> so, Gotta try it first. Um and you know to, a, a way for the aliens to basically you know the, the marine commander terminal is you know the marine can walk right up to it and you know pop inside of it um it's a little harder for a hive to be hanging up above and you know how is the alien interfacing with it like you have to jump up and hit his use key yeah like, yeah that'll be dumb. so um but i was really kind of adamant about having these things um still hanging from the ceiling i felt it just gave them a much more impressive majestic feeling um you know for the marines to, to go into room and you know looking up at this big glowing thing above you um so i uh w that's where the elongated tentacles come in and so cool. um the hive would start out with the tentacles hanging low close to the ground an alien would kind of walk over up to the tentacles hit the use key or whatever to go into commander mode and then there would be an animation of the tentacles opening and kind of wrapping around the alien and the alien would just basically disappear being absorbed up into the hive and then the tentacles would play an animation where they retract up so that way um it's also fairly obvious to uh, the marine players when they enter into the room and, and see the hive you know whether there's a alien commander or not because they could either see the tentacles are are you know stretched down to the ground or they're retracted up inside so and, and you know and i anticipate a lot of you know more um hopefully we can get a lot more idle animations in there this time around where the you know tentacles are quivering and flexing and um you know the whole thing is is moving so subtly i think this concept came out so perfectly like there's no i don't think there's any chance that i'd want to see another concept this is like this is it as far as i'm concerned I'm that good. What can you I say? are. <laughs> I mean, well, and you know NS obviously, so that helps a lot. And you know, yeah, definitely, yeah. like how much I want the glowy. So, <laughs> well, you, you knew that they couldn't be removed. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I guess that's it for the Hive Cast, and um, hopefully we'll see you next week. Thanks. See you later. Bye. <laughs>